Hey guys, I'm Kyoki. And I'm Heidi. And today we're going to be doing a QA. People just think that someone has done to us while in suits. Somebody called me a cat. A cat. A cat. Excuse me. Um I, I've never seen a cat that looks like this. Um, I'm not entirely sure where they were coming from. <laughs> they came up, they came and go, oh look honey, it's a, it's a cat. And I'm like, I'm a, I'm a dog. I'm a collie. I'm, I'm no cat. <laughs> what about you? I've had someone come up and scritch at my fursuit. Oh no, that's the worst. And I wouldn't mind, but it was a member of the fur meet that I was at, and they were scritching at it so much that they actually ripped the fur. They did actually give me money for repairs as an apology, but it was just the stupidest thing because so many people like don't scritch fursuits. You shouldn't do that. It doesn't feel good anyway because you know you can't feel it. Me and stroking, that... I don't mind. I actually quite oh. like stroking, but please, for the love of God, don't scritch our fursuits. Don't scritch. A lot of time and effort is put into these things. The last thing we want is to have to repair them. What inspired you to make your sonas? Uses of colours, breed, personality, etc. Uh, well, when it comes to breed, I've always had collies growing up, so it just seemed natural for me to be a collie. And then I noticed a lot of suits said it's just standard black and white border collie, and I didn't want to be that. So I wanted spots because I love collie spots, but I also needed another friendly colour. And you know, Grey is a pretty natural, friendly colour. And then blue and purple are my other favourite colours. So, this happened. And here I am today. How about you? Me? Well, talking about my actual persona, Tenshi, uh, I designed her originally as a husky, but they eventually figured out that because of the brown, that she's more of a German Shepherd <laughs> because of the, the way she was shaped. Um, but even before I met you, like, Tenshi came before Heidi did. And uh, purple and blue are also my favourite colours and they just go well together. So yeah. yeah, so that's why I designed her the way she is. Uh, Kyoki was more of a random, but I wanted like a horrific, scary character. So I thought, hey, let's just mix in a bit of black and red, some white for some contrast. And yeah, <laughs> I exist for that reason. Uh, she's a fennec fox. Uh, so I should have such big ears. Uh, I just wanted a character with massive ears, so that's why she has them. And the little indents and cuts in there, like, just to kind of make her look a bit more menacing, I suppose. What about, what about personality for you? Personality? Well, I guess personality wise, I just wanted it to be the best version of myself. Like, who I would want to be. And I'd want to be the kind of person that makes other people happy and just spread joy, I guess. That's exactly what Tenji is for me as well. Yeah. Yoki's more of an outlet of, hey, let's be crazy. Because <laughs> when I put her on, I can laugh like an idiot. I can just act mental and enjoy myself, you know? That's what her personality is like. When life got you down, how does being a furry help? Well, good question, actually. A lot of the time when I'm sad, I do just casually put on my fur suit and just dance around and do silly things and it makes me feel a ton better. If not that, then I'll reach out to my, my friends that I've met through the fandom or draw something to vent my feelings. There's just, there's just so many ways that this fandom's helped. I agree. It's kind of like whenever I'm feeling down, I tend to draw furry art, whether it's commission or just vent art in general. And it does help because then when you have the fellow furries just comment on your stuff and just make you feel a bit better. It's just, it's nice. And it's nice to know that we've got such a diverse community. So, it's nice to just know that there is friends out there. What's something you love that most people would find weird? I mean, I'm wearing it. This is pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> Other than fursuits and furry stuff. Hmm, probably my choice in pets. Like, I have goldfish and an axolotl. Now most people think fish are just boring and they have no personality, so that's a bit unusual, but the axolotl is very unusual. People think they're weird because they regrow limbs and they're just pretty crazy to be honest. What about you? I guess, yeah. Tentacles! 
Yeah, that's a weird one. I love tentacles, man. I love tentacles so much. <laughs> Why? I don't even know. I just do. They're amazing. I like tentacles. <laughs> even my partner doesn't, doesn't understand me like that. So, yeah. Some people could find that weird. It is weird. <laughs> what influenced you to start making your own fursuit? Well, funnily enough, I made my first fursuit. Uh, at the time, I loved her because I'd made her and she was my own. Um, but, like, it's not the best suit. But I wanted to try and make my own suits because it was the cheaper option. But yeah, that, that's, that's really the only way I, reason I did it. Well, I'm guessing this question is uh, kind of hinted towards boobs for days here. <laughs> yeah, more me. Um, what influenced me? Well, first of all, I desperately wanted a fursuit, right? And as we know, they're very expensive. And at the time I was a student, so I didn't have a lot of money. And I was like, you know what? I'm pretty crafty. I'm gonna have a go. I'm gonna make me a fursuit. And my first fursuit was the original Heidi. That was the first suit I ever made. And it, you know, it didn't turn out bad at all. And then it actually turned out people absolutely loved it and they wanted me to make one for them. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, sure, I'll do that. <laughs> and now we just have the full blown boots for days. So I'm just getting better and better with everything I make. I mean, this is the most recent head. And, you know, not to my own horn, but I did pretty damn good. Now this is interesting. Who's one of your favorite artists and who's one of your favorite fursuit makers besides each other, of course? Favorite artists. There's actually this guy that I always see on Facebook and I got a YCH from him not long back and I absolutely love it. I'm trying to remember his name. Squid Watling Smith, I think his name is. He's got really good art. He's got like beautiful line art. I, I just love it so much. Uh, fursuit makers. Let me think. Gotta say awesome fallings. That was my inspiration behind this head. I just love the big toony exaggerated look. I think it's adorable. Yogi? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was in my own space first. Um, <laughs> please add that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite artists who was like a big inspiration to me uh, is actually Tamelo Himitaki on um, DeviantArt. I'll put their link in the description. They just do such amazing artwork. Like, I just think it's so pretty. And the skills that they have is just, oh, inspiration. Um, as far as fursuit makers, if I can't say boops for days, I love Pawaii. Oh, they're cute. I love their suits. They're just so smooth and so cute and, oh, I love them. What is your, fa what is your favorite original species? Hmm. No, I quite like vernids. I think they're interesting. Yeah, I like, I like Bernard's and I actually have a friend, Casper, uh, you're probably watching, so hey, your original species is cute as fuck. Yeah, Helkins. Helkins, yeah. Helkins, I've got a Helkins. Helkins are fucking cute, man. There should be more, I love them. Yeah, there shouldn't be more, I like them being just a few. Yeah, I do like those. I like small groups, it's more like intimate then. Yeah. Like I just see. close friends. I agree. I like... Hmm. hmm. I like the look of Wicker Beast. I also absolutely love Primogens. Yeah, they're cute. I think they're really cool, but I can't seem to get behind Protogens. I just, I just can't seem to latch on to the liking of those. Maybe it is because Primogens are the clone species that make you want them more. Probably that, to be honest. I like them. You always want what's hard to get or what you can't have. Yeah. What gaming themed attire will you both be wearing at Confuzzle this year? Hmm. Well, seeing as I don't really game much, uh, I'm gonna stick to what I know. So I'm gonna say either like a Sims plum bob or like something from Animal Crossing or Undertale because 
those are the games I've pretty much played. So I want to stick with what I actually like and know, because if you just, you know, if you just cosplay something you don't know, how can you portray it properly? Good point. I approve of that. That's a very good point. I want to do some Undertale cosplays. I would also probably maybe wear a Dramatical Murder cosplay. Maybe. Maybe. I'd like a plum bob too. What's your favourite piece of art that you've enjoyed creating and style? Plus, what so far has been the highlight of being in this fandom? That's two questions. Oh god. Your favourite artwork and why do you like it? The favourite piece of art that I've enjoyed creating. I'm gonna have to say the group picture I drew is my favourite piece so far. It's like the most detailed and like it's got the most characters in it. And it took a long, long time for me to finish that. I was quite proud of it in the end. So I'm gonna say that's my favourite piece of art. Highlights of being a part of the fandom. Of course, there's always the meeting friends aspect. But I think the highlight was being at Confuzzled last year. That like, it really gives you a sense of like community, like you belong. And it's just, it just makes you so happy. And, you know, it's just great to see all the fursuits and all the artists and everyone. It's, it's just a great environment to be in, so I'm gonna say that. Bud! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Please! Thank you! Oh, calm down there. <laughs> favourite piece of artwork? I don't know, I've got a lot of favourites. Um, I'm gonna say I enjoyed creating this one piece that I made of Tenchi, but as a Yandere character. Oh god, I remember that. I liked that piece of art, I don't know. It I was... thought you were going to say that one where she's in a kimono. I do like that. Birds, I'm serious. I do like that piece of artwork, but I have to say I really enjoyed this one because it was just, the perspective was different. Yeah. And uh, just the start. Just like the different, they just like to talk when I talk, I swear. <laughs> So just that the fact that the perspective was different and the fact that I don't know it was a twist on a character that wouldn't usually do that I just liked that and the idea was really good and just I got the idea from Matt actually oh yeah yeah he, he was like helping me with the idea so I was like yes <laughs> brilliant I, I love this idea shout <laughs> out to Matt shout out to Matthias hi um and the favorite part of being in this fandom again would probably have to be confuzzled I went for the whole weekend like the whole four days and oh it was like the best week of my life i loved it just seeing so many different perspectives of people and just amazing artwork and how close people can be and how our community can grow well that's all the questions for today thank you everyone who uh asked we'll see you next friday if you like this video hit the like button and of course subscribe because we are hoping to upload videos every single fursuit friday what she said. We'll see you next week. <laughs>